Cyber attacks, a plague on the business community that just won't go away. This time, it's British Airways, Boots and the BBC who are having to explain why their employees' personal information was compromised. They're not alone. A slew of companies across the world have been affected, at least eight of them in the UK. So far, British Airways, Boots and the BBC have confirmed the attack. Each one employs thousands of people. The contagion began with a file transfer software called MoveIt, which suffered the breach. MoveIt was used by Zealous, a payroll provider through which hackers gained access to a host of companies. Contact details, national insurance numbers and bank details may have been stolen in the breach. There are still a lot of unknowns. Chief among them, the identity of the attackers. There's been some speculation that a Russian-speaking cybercrime group is behind this. And indeed, there has been a spike in activity of this kind since the war in Ukraine started. But as of yet, it's pure speculation. Nor do we know the number of people who have been affected, the exact details they've had stolen, and the size of the remedial costs that businesses now face. A Russian-speaking cybercrime group called CLOP has since claimed responsibility for the attack. It told the Reuters news agency that it would name and shame victims who refused to pay a ransom. What this exploit does is expose once again the vulnerabilities of some of these major corporations to their outsourced software services. It is the software that they are using from third party providers that has been attacked. And that, of course, opens up vulnerabilities in a wide range of different customers for those shared services. Many businesses have gone to great lengths to strengthen their defences. But in the interconnected world of business, this serves as a reminder that they're only as strong as their weakest link. Gurpreet Narwan, Sky News.